doing a lot of reading, you know, like online about like, like, like just like evolution and like and natural selection and how like there's this thing, right? It is called the apex predator, right? And basically what this is, is the strongest animal in the ecosystem, right? And, and, and as human beings, we are, we're considered the apex predator, but only because like, like smaller animals can't feed on us because of weapons and stuff, right? The lion does not feel guilty when it kills a gazelle, right? You do not feel guilty when you squash a fly. And I think that means something. I just think that really means something. Absolute power corrupts, stated by Lord Action. This statement fits perfectly into this movie. It can also summarize what one of the characters experienced during this movie. Did I basically say the same thing two times? Yes, yes I did. The reason I stated that quote is because that is what one of the characters' movies goes to. Andrew Detmer is a character that seems to have it harsh straight from the beginning of the movie. You can see so much pain in him from the way he walks around the school. You can see it in the way he moves. You can just see some sort of pain, discomfort, struggle, or I guess you can simply say he seems sad. Not only that, but you can immediately see he is lonely and hurt. That's something so sad to see. From high school to high schooler, I know what it feels like to have no one there for a day or two, or to feel alone altogether. Not only that, but he gets bullied too. Just know it's been like that for him since sophomore year, which is stated multiple times in the movie. We learn he is having a hard life just through the beginning scenes. But later on, after Andrew gets home, we see that he has an abusive father and mother with cancer, a mother dying extremely slowly. So all around him, he has only two people, Matt, his cousin, and his mother that's dying from cancer. That would be hard for anyone. I would like to state before he had powers, he wasn't crazy and seems like the nicest kid ever. He seems like a kid who just needs a friend, to be honest. He finally gets a friend later on. Well, I mean best friend, and gets closer with his cousin Matt. This all happened because when they went down the hole and got powers, they decided to stick together, of course. So after they do some pranks and see how strong their powers are, one prank ends up hurting someone and putting that person in the hospital. So then they decide to put rules on themselves so they don't hurt any more people. So after Matt and Steve come up with some rules, Andrew decides to follow them. But a day later... They all get back on good terms, which is mature, and I can appreciate that from the movie. So we get more scenes with them, with their powers, and them being friends, along with some character change from Matt. I would also like to state that Steve is his new best friend. All of that is what I would say is the peak of their friendship. They all are super close and happy, basically. But then the talent show happens. Before I start on about the talent show, you must know what his dad said. His dad said that Steve and Matt were his real friends. But on to the tale, talent show. And if you watched the movie, then you know this scene already. But if you haven't, then I'll tell you what happened basically. Andrew and Steve participate in a talent show. They do some tricks here and there, and then it ends. It's cool to watch, but I ain't here to for the powers and tricks and all that. Anyways, after the talent show, they... Head to a big house party like most people do. And you know, today's the day Andrew's going to lose his V-card. That was the plan after all. He starts talking to this girl. And then the girl and Andy head upstairs to, you know, get the deed done. And then later we see it didn't go too well. We see that he throws up on a girl and Steve starts laughing. Not taking what happened too serious. This was the downfall of Andrew as a person. The day after, I presume... We see Andrew rip some teeth out of his bully that I mentioned earlier and, you know, he's kind of insane. I'm not saying this all happened immediately. There's obviously more pacing and lead up to it, but we're here for a short or long video. I'm not sure, but you get my point. By the way, this is where the movie starts to escalate very fast in a good way, though. Okay, so after he did that, he and Matt have an argument, which Andrew wins because... You know, then later on, we see he has no money to get his mother medicine. Then, then later on, while we hear Andrew with his mother crying for his dad's help, but want to know what his dad was doing? Looking in his room, his mother was in pain. His father finds the camera and then starts to blame him for everything and starts hitting him until, you know, my boy starts fighting back. But, you know, after beating his dad, he leaves. 
He goes flying. He goes flying in a thunderstorm, threatening his own life. Steve, being the real friend he is, goes to check up on him. But everyone knows it's hard to help somebody who doesn't want to be helped. Steve tries to get Andrew, which is only causing him to get angrier since he's just a guy deep down in his heart. With all the anger in his heart, he accidentally hits Steve with a lightning strike. Help! Help! Killing him. We see another argument happening at Steve's funeral with Andrew and Matt, of course. Matt was just trying to understand what happened, which starts to cause Andrew to get more upset. And this is all leading to more and more. Okay, that's all tragic and all that, right? I have two more things to talk about that me not including so many little but major things in this sad movie. The two things I have to talk about is Andrew's mindset, which will be very brief, and the ending, which is great. And I already spoiled parts of the movie, I believe, but if I didn't, then spoilers ahead. Okay, so during the halfway point, I guess you can say... Andrew gets into a very threatening and dangerous mindset. His mindset is that he is an apex predator. He sees himself different from everyone else. To be fair, he is not wrong, but when a kid like him, who has gone through so much abuse and sadness, is dangerous for not only himself, but also everyone else around him, I say that because this would and will cause him to hurt people he cares about, aka Matt and Steve. So put to, to put that in a small package, he endangered and ruined the one person he cared about and hurt himself because he thought he was superior than everyone else. Okay, and now we will talk about the ending, which hits the mark. So we all know his father is useless. Since we all know that, Andrew being the good son he is, he tries to get his mother medicine. But he's broke and his father is useless so he decides he's gonna rob some thugs in quotations he does that and still doesn't have enough money so he decides to rob a gas station which goes well until he walks out the store when he walks out the store owner shoots him and andy being the goat he is deflects them into the gas bombs blowing himself up leading himself into the hospital knocked out while at the hospital his father goes there and tells him that his mother had died and it's just all his fault and saying other things. Just as his father is about to hit him, Andrew wakes up from his sleep. Pick him up and throws him out the window and more. I won't say too much on what happens because that final scene is fun to watch. I'll just say the final things that happen are that Andrew dies by Matt. I would say a couple days, weeks, or months later, Matt goes to the mountains with a camera, saying goodbye to his cousin, leaving the camera somewhere that Andrew wanted to live at. Somewhere where and where everyone else is gone. Somewhere where he was alone. That's the tragic story of Andrew Dinner. That is Chronicle. A tragic story. Alright, so I'm just gonna put memes in the background for, you know, the outro. But uh, like the video, share, and comment, and anything you want to discuss or anything, follow me on Twitter at Cam, that me, man, and, well, Cam, that movie, man, my bad. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe in quarantine. We could talk more another day. Bye. Love you guys. See ya.